and welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what to wear during a family photo session. Because it's not just one outfit that you're picking, you're picking multiple outfits. How do they look nice in photos? What to pay attention to? I'm also going to show you how I got ready for a family photo session and uh, some behind the scenes video clips of the session. We took the photos ourselves, so I had the camera on a tripod. We went to a beautiful location and I'm going to show you the final images and some of the camera settings. So we didn't have a photographer with us, but I was still days in advance, well weeks in advance, thinking about what we would wear, where we would take the photos, how the colors and textures would look nice together. So I thought it would be fun to discuss 10 common opinion statements and what I think about them concerning what to wear during a photo session. Number one, wear something that you would normally also wear. So you feel comfortable and it's your style, what you're wearing in the photos. I somewhat agree and somewhat disagree. Okay, so two packages just, just came in and I'm going to open them up. So first, oh great, here is my dress. It actually still has the tag on it. I ordered this one uh, second hand on Vinted. The brand of the dress is Naked. I really hope it fits. I love the color, I love the length, I love the material, the structure. Okay, so why did I choose this? Well, number one, the color. I love scent colors, warm tones, soft. Um, and the structure, because it's like, kind of like linen structure, so it's not super smooth. Also, because it has sleeves, and it has like these puffy sleeves. So there's like a little ribbon to tie here. It's really comfortable. I love the length. I think you should definitely wear something you're comfortable in because it's gonna show when you're not comfortable. But in daily life, if you're always wearing sweats and a hoodie, completely fine, it's comfy. Uh, maybe for a family photo session, you might wanna wear something different. I would dress up a little bit, but still make it you. So if you never wear dresses or skirts, you're like a jeans kind of type. You can wear jeans during a family photo session because maybe in a skirt or a dress you would feel really uncomfortable and it will show in the photos. However, as a photographer, I often photograph pregnant women and they love wearing one of the dresses from my client closet because it's something they would normally never wear. But then, you know, being pregnant outside during a photo session, they love wearing the dress. So I wouldn't necessarily say only wear something that you would normally wear as well. For a photo session, you can wear something completely different as long as you feel beautiful, you feel comfortable. So yeah, I like knitted sweaters and soft colors, but I also love dresses and skirts. I wear them a lot. Like it's not always practical in the studio when photographing babies and during like kicks my sessions. So then I often wear pants as well, jeans. But in my free time, 99% of the time I wear a dress, skirt. So during a family photo session, I love wearing dresses and skirts. If that's not you, don't wear it. Same for kids, like if you have a daughter and you would love to see her in a dress during a family photo session, but she hates dresses, she never wears dresses, maybe give her a nice blouse with like some of these like flared pants, super cute, super comfy. They don't have to wear a dress because you want to have a happy child during a photo session, a child who feels comfortable. I'm going to open up my daughter's dress. Also, a second pin. I love it. Of course, it's an app. So people take photos of their own clothes and then sell it. But some take photos with daylight. Some take photos with like light bulbs on. So it looks more yellow toned. And then it's hard to kind of like determine whether items match together, if it's really the good color or if it's completely like not really matching. It's scent colored. I can adjust the straps to make it smaller or bigger. And what I like here in the back is that it's crossed and it's sewn together so they won't fall off her shoulders the whole time, which can be a little bit annoying. And I like that the skirt is a little bit wider so it's more flowy as well. Um, so it's fun, it's super cute. And I love that texture as well. Just not completely smooth, which is like this corduroy 
texture so the brand is called blue queen and i got it a size bigger than she actually wears because i think dresses are often too short for girls she loves to play around and then she usually wears like biker shorts underneath like short leggings like cotton ones so yeah i want her to wear this with like a knitted jumper and then like knee-high socks and then her cowboy boots i think it's gonna be super super cute so i'm so happy our dresses came in okay number two wear something that fits also agree and disagree so i have a package that just came in and i just want to show you so here we go i ordered this blouse especially for the sleeves because i love these like lace sleeves this is like an extra large because yeah when wearing items like during photo sessions uh, it's okay to wear a little bit bigger because you can have a, like off shoulder you can have like a little belt around your waist um, and with blouse definitely you can go bigger second hint pre-loved um, I got this from Vinted the app I mean there are other apps probably where you live but here it's quite a popular one I think sometimes it can look better to wear something that's one size bigger because it fits yeah sometimes something fits but it's very tight tight fitting and maybe during everyday life it's fine but then when you have a family photo session and afterwards you look at the photos and you see that because it was very tight like it fitted but very tight you might see a little bit more in the photos than you would have wanted to see and if you wear a shirt or a dress or a blouse or a sweater or whatever that is a little bit like loose fitting or one size bigger than like fitting fitting um it will look maybe a little bit more flowy and feel more comfortable um you don't have to size up definitely not but i would not wear something that is tight like super tight like same with men if they wear like a blouse which is really tight they bend forward. It might open up in between the buttons. Number three, wear something that is warm enough or cool enough. Yes, I agree. Okay, uh, so now the package just came in. Ah, oh, there you go. So here we are. This is a sweater. Um, and my son will probably be wearing this one. It's from the Zara, Zara Knits and it has like a hoodie, it's knitted, it's kind of like a scent color and it has little buttons in the front but especially like the, um, the way that it's knit, like the structure and the color uh, I really like I was looking for like chunky knits, this is not really super chunky but it's still super cute for a photo session and what I think is super cute is when um, you roll up the sleeves because it gives it like this warm and cozy look and feel to it and I like photographing in the evenings during the golden hour like when the sun is low and you have this golden sunlight however the temperature uh, lowers as well pretty fast at that time so yeah I do have like a nice t-shirt for him but I don't want him to be cold because when a child is cold you can see it in the photo session just by how their posture change and every changes and everything so I wanted to make sure that I had some like knitted cardigans as well and like the scent colored um, that they can wear if it's a little bit more chilly at night outside especially now because it's springtime so it's not super warm yet today it was raining and eight degrees celsius and it's like may it should be warm so i'm just waiting for warmer days to come uh, but yeah of course during the summer it can be super warm and at night you can still wear a t-shirt but then the sun sets late as well like yeah if i keep them up until like 10 p.m i mean they get so tired and uh, they just want to go to bed. So now it's springtime, so we can take photos between 7.30 and 8.30 at night or between 8 and 9 at night and it's still okay for them to stay up a little bit later if it's like in the weekends and if it's just for one night. So, but then it might get a little bit chilly at night. So that's why I ordered some warmer items as well. So yeah, really nice. So dress appropriately to the season, but also the time of day that you're shooting because you don't want to be cold during a session it's going to show you don't want to be super hot and sweating during a session it's going to show as well i would say bring some layers so you can peel off layers or put on layers so like a jacket a scarf like um 
a blanket that you can wrap around you. Number four, when you want to play safe, just all wear jeans and a white t-shirt. Looking fresh? No, I don't agree. I think all wearing jeans and a white t-shirt, I don't think it looks that good during a family photo session. Maybe in the studio, um, we have like a pure white backdrop and you want to go for the clean, timeless look. You can do it. But i rather shoot outdoors during family photo sessions. Um, with like golden sunlight, warm toned. Um, I mean, you can shoot on the beach, have like gray, blue, cool tones, definitely. But all wearing a white t-shirt and jeans, I wouldn't necessarily do that because I think it's prettier to go for different textures and different colors. Colors that match, that look beautiful together, but not all exactly the same. So, I mean, if you like that, um, go for it. But I would say number four, all wearing jeans and a white t-shirt, I disagree. Number five, don't wear uh, clothing items with busy prints, uh, big logos or text on it. I say I agree, yeah, because it can be a little bit distracting, like busy prints, I don't mean like polka dots, because um, that can still be like a subtle print, like a dress with flowers, it can be subtle, beautiful, and actually I kind of disagree as well, because yeah, if one person or two people out of four or five people are wearing a print, it can blend really nice into the uh, picture, because like if everybody's wearing like new tones or like uh, and then one has like a dress where all the new tones come together in like a floral print It can be super beautiful. I mean more like if everybody's wearing like busy prints um, You kind of get distracted from the faces in the photo and the people and you only see the print I would say take it easy on the prints with logos mm, Yeah, I would avoid logos. Sometimes you have like a blouse or a polo t-shirt like a small logo fine but If you like this big logo on your t-shirt you might not like that as much in a few years. It might distract from the connection, like the family, that. Number six, pick a color scheme, tone, and mix and match it all together. Agree, definitely. Okay, so I just wanna show you a little update of what I have now. So for my daughter, I have her corduroy dress with a like very subtle pink sweater. I got knee high socks. I'll probably wear like um, tights as well. And just in case I feel chilly, I have this cardigan to go with it. It's not the one I ordered. I ordered another one, which I'll probably love more, but it's not here yet. This is from Stradivarius. Um, and the one I ordered is from the H&M. Then for my son, I got these pants for him. I need to iron them. Um, they're from the Zara. Then this is what my boyfriend will be wearing. Pants is almost the same color as my son's. I got it in the thrift store. <laughs> and it's a miracle that they fit. So this is H&M as well. And then the jacket is Sitter Wood State. It's not real leather. It doesn't matter. For my son, if he's chilly, because he can complain he's chilly, I have this corduroy jacket as well. And it's from Harvest Boys. And we got it from family members in Peru. I have this crocheted... Um, like scarf almost which I think will look nice together it kind of binds together the colors you can go for the warmer tones like uh, it can be like a warmer beige orange uh, this rusty red um, browns warm you know think about sunset those colors the sky red warm you can go for cooler tones as well Go for blues and grays and mint green and um, they look cute together. It's kind of like finding colors that look nice together. So, I mean, you can have like a cooler toned pink or a warmer toned pink. A cooler blue and a warmer blue. Um, it's kind of like mixing and matching and seeing what looks nice together. I'm going to show you some examples of what I did in the past. Okay, so on this photo you see we were all wearing like blues and grays. Here I also have my kids wearing blues and white. Here I was more going towards the nude tones so that the purple of the flowers around it would really stand out. 
Here I was going for warmer tones. But yeah, also pay attention to the shoes. Just like every, like I love her head and the scarf and like the vest on top of it. And yeah, she was wearing print, some flowers, but because it's the only print in the photo, it's not too busy. Here we were wearing uh, pastels, which look nice together. Here we were going for like yellow. She was wearing a yellow dress because of the yellow flowers. I really love this photo as well. And uh, yeah, nothing wrong with prints. As long as it's not everybody wearing prints when you have multiple people in the photo. I go more towards the warmer tones now, but I've had some pictures taken on like a sandy beach where we were wearing blues and whites to make it like very fresh and like light and airy. And now I like more like the richer and warmer tones. We tried to play with that so that you have different things, different textures, one might be wearing like a knitted sweater, the other one might be wearing something that's corduroy, the other one leather, uh, but all in the same tones, like color tones kind of. You can find all these like uh, images on the internet when you look for like um, photo shoot outfit examples and they have like beautiful mixes and matches together. Um, but it's usually like different tones, not exactly the same, but they look beautiful together and like different textures of clothing. So yes, I agree, pick a color, scheme, pick a tone, whatever, and go for that. Sounds very vague, but you get it. These are items I haven't bought yet, but just some of my favorite items. So you see lace, you see longer dresses, uh, texture. I didn't buy this one, I'm just showing you. I like this texture. I might buy them later, some are already sold. But like these kind of vests are really cute on top of like a dress for a girl because of like the, the structure, the texture. Yeah, just to show you these kind of sweaters I really like. I was looking at sweaters, you can definitely see. These are still all for sale, so I haven't bought them. Then I was looking at some longer dresses, just like in soft colors, maybe some lace, some textures. I was looking at like blouses and vests. Like this one, I might get that one as well. I don't know yet. This dress I really think is super cute. Um, I was looking at some sweater dresses because it's still quite chilly here in the Netherlands So I thought it would look nice even though it would give more of like an autumn look and feel doesn't matter It's super cold still So yeah, just some beautiful sweater dresses You can see how people are selling those. I was looking at some flared pants maybe for my daughter uh, Instead of like a dress, but she preferred a dress. She said so I bought a dress for her These like these ones are really cute for girls sweaters, vests. I was looking at like more like a copper colored dress in like a corduroy. It shows a little bit dark. They're not that dark actually. Um, or some other like darker colored dresses. These ones I liked as well. These ones I thought were really cute. This one would be too chilly. Then I was looking at hats. I was actually got a hat. I was looking at sweaters for my son. I actually like that one as well. This one's still for sale. Number seven, match your shoes. Yes and no. Okay, guess what? Something just came in. I have a huge box here. And I'm so excited to open this um, because I think it's the key piece of the outfit. Not just for me, but for the kids as well. So I came across this company on Instagram and it's a Dutch company. I'll recycle these ones just when I'm selling uh, my own box. And this box. I needed a big box, so that's great. Three boxes. So if you know me, you know my footwear. Because I've been wearing pretty much the same shoes on a lot of uh, photos. These ones. I've already had the uh, sole changed because it was completely uh, finished. And I like wearing them a lot, on photos especially, but also just when I'm picking up the kids from school, grocery shopping, walking the dog, doesn't matter. I wear them all the time, you can see it. I mean, they only get prettier after time, but um, you can see that I wore them a lot. So now I have new ones, I really hope they fit. I measured up my feet and I checked on the website and this should be the sign. Okay, what to wear during a family vacation. So what to wear during a family photo shoot. 
beautiful, beautiful cowboy boots. I love them. They're so soft. Oh, they fit like a glove. They're, and they're so soft. What a difference. They're even a lot softer than the other ones. I'm never gonna take them off again. Handmade, a Dutch shoe brand skillfully made by master craftsmen. Yeah, you can feel it and see it. These boots are produced from leather of the finest texture, so smooth. Made according to the Goodyear welted method. Bootstock. .nl. They're amazing. And now comes the cutest part. Because have you ever seen real leather cowboy boots on kids? It's the cutest. It's just the cutest. So I can't wait to open these. Oh, they're so cute and so beautiful. Look at this. Little time. Little cowboy boots. So these ones my daughter will be wearing. So yeah, they might be a little bit too big still, but then she can grow into it. And she'll be wearing like these knee high socks, with, like a lace trim, super cute. So my son, he wants to be a cowboy anyway. He has like a suit to dress up like a cowboy. He wants a head as well. So I asked him, do you want to wear a cowboy boot during a photo session? He was like, yeah, definitely. So we sat together behind the computer, showed him the webpage. And I asked him, which ones do you like? And he picked out these ones. He thinks they're super cool. And I think they're super cool for boys. And they match my boots as well. Even though it's like a different type of leather. But look at this little cowboy boots for kids. So this is called the red velvet, if I remember correctly. So there's like a red undertone in the boots. You don't really see it that much. It's more like when the light hits it. Look at this tiny cowboy boots. This is so cute um, and they're so cool and I think for boys they're cool as well and I mean as they're wearing them the leather will wear out a little bit maybe it looks a little bit more distressed which will only make them more beautiful that's what I love about leather when you use it over time it gets like these beautiful it gets more character because it's worn uh, you can see it might, make, might get damaged a little bit but that's okay because it's leather it'll still be beautiful during a family photo session, it's not about wearing all the same things, but things that will match together. Look at this. Other types of boots would be great. Um, in the summer, I've worn just my regular white ulcers during a photo session. Uh, I have Dr. Martin uh, boots, black ones. Great during a photo session. Yeah, I mean, sandals could be great. I would go for like brown leather for kids, not too like busy prints or big logos or bright colors because uh, you don't want all the attention to go to the shoes when you're wearing cowboy boots you kind of want but you still want it to look soft in the picture and just blend into the same color scheme i would say definitely pay attention to the shoes because in the final image i mean you're gonna have maybe some headshots some close-ups but also shoes because shoes are part of the photo session except when you're walking barefoot outside which i wouldn't recommend with kids in a forest or places where there could be like sharp things like pieces of glass or sharp stones or rocks or whatever but maybe on the beach yeah barefoot can be great but definitely pay attention to the feet as well oh yeah and then when you're wearing sandals pay attention to your feet as well maybe paint the toenails uh, i get a pedicure beforehand because you want to love the photos afterwards and not be so i mean everybody's critical at themselves when you look at the photo you do like be like oh, i have a double chin or uh, I don't know, something doesn't look, I've got wrinkles, do it, paint your toenails. Um, and don't be so critical at yourself, you're beautiful the way you are. But I'm also critical of myself, so I completely understand. Number eight, get some accessories as well. I agree. Maybe not just wear like a skirt, a blouse and some shoes, but maybe add a hat and a scarf and a nice belt or a bag or whatever something that you can add to your outfit and remove as well so you have variety in the way you look and it's cute i'm sorry if the light is bothering you the sun keeps coming and going so i'm like sitting next to a window so you see the light changing my daughter might be wearing that one i mean i can wear it as well it still fits on my head and i have a hat it's not the prettiest hat i have i ordered two new hats and i'll show them later like a vintage hat like you know green color and then like a camel looking hat with like more shape to it i do have another hat that has more shape to it but it's not like the good color it's more like a grayish brown and this is more like a warm tone brown which will look better with my dress um so yeah 
it said that the other hats are not here yet good but i got them secondhand from a girl in paris i think so the shipping just takes a little bit longer than expected number nine wear makeup and get your hair done i agree and i disagree because i don't think you really have to get your hair done or go to a makeup artist you can do it yourself and i would go for what you normally have but then maybe just a little bit extra like think about going to like a birthday party so you don't want to maybe have fake eyelashes if you never wear them if you do wear fake eyelashes to a party you can wear it to a photo session because you know how they work and they feel comfortable and you can still blink keep your eyes open so i wouldn't do anything too crazy for the photo session unless you're going for like a glamour shoot but if it's just like a regular family session with your partner and your kids maybe yeah wear some um, foundation yeah you can wear some highlighter concealer i don't wear highlighter because i don't really like shiny faces in photos but if that's your thing go for it but i would say maybe some foundation i got some bb cream and then maybe some powder because i like matte uh, mascara Maybe some color on your lips, but not maybe bright red. If you never wear half like bright red lipstick, because otherwise maybe afterwards you'll be like, what was I thinking? Like if you would normally maybe curl your hair before going to a birthday party, maybe curl your hair. My hair, I, I was going crazy the last time. I tried to you do like some of the like um, curly girl method. So I'm not using curling irons, heat, anything anymore. I just let it dry, air dry. And then I kind of like do this to get some curls in. It's not really, it's still doing its own thing. I, I put it up for the family photo session because I thought that would be fun because um, I always have it down. So yeah, sometimes you can do something different than halfway, I let it down so that it looked a little bit different. My daughter has long hair, so sometimes during photo sessions I braid her hair, sometimes ponytails, sometimes she can have, like now she just likes to have it loose. Maybe like a little headband uh, with my son yeah i add a little bit of hair gel in his hair but just like a little bit what he would normally get when we would go to a birthday party so nothing too crazy but okay number 10 last one pay attention to your underwear and yes i agree with that one now that i'm getting dressed i thought maybe i can wear this one underneath like a lace top in like a nude color as far as like ties, I would go for matte ones and not shiny ones. What is a good idea to wear? Are these like super tight bangs underwear? Uh, also to hide really big bruises that you don't want to show. I wish I had skin colored ones. I don't have them. So I'll be wearing these black ones. Especially with the moms, with the women. Um, you don't really want to see like dark bra straps when you're wearing like a white spaghetti strap dress um so yeah it's mostly the underwear of the adult women that you kind of want to pay attention to kids underwear yeah i mean maybe not wear like a mickey mouse a uh, singlet underneath like a white see-through t-shirt so those were 10 common assumptions statements that you can find about what to wear during a family photo session and my opinion about it. I'm going to show you a lot of the family photo session behind the scenes final images. Another piece of advice from me, um, maybe dress up the kids last minute. Weather forecast is that it's going to be overcast uh, the rest of the afternoon, evening. Like it's sunny now, then it'll rain, maybe a little bit uh, around like noon, but we won't be there yet and then it'll be overcast. So we might take the photos in the afternoon overcast because we're not gonna have a golden hour sun anyway in the evening and they will not be tired. And we're here. There are quite a lot more people. So we're just looking for a quiet spot. And the weather's, it's forecast. <laughs> it's not raining, so it's good. Super cool. And we blijven even een beetje here. Zometeen, ja?
kids are really <laughs> they don't want to have their photo taken they want to play but look we got sun but now it's actually too early for the golden hour we're still gonna try and shoot a few photos into the sunlight with the trees behind it Okay, it's actually almost seven already, but we're not staying much longer. Even though the sun is out, it'll be beautiful here in an hour or so, two hours. Because the sun is still a little bit higher, but it'll be too late for the kids. Uh, so we're gonna go to the uh, Burger King right now, because I like the uh, plant-based Whopper a lot. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm so excited, I can't wait to see the photos. Because I had the camera on the tripod, um, I already checked sometimes we were not in the frame because of course it's a 105 millimeter lens so it's pretty far away and then you think the camera is like aiming at you but then later you see the photo that you were like outside of the frame so I missed some lovely shots probably as well but I already have so also have some which is great um, so yeah what else do I want to say jewelry make sure that you check beforehand what you like in the photo as far as jewelry so uh, maybe a smartwatch might not be so cute in the photos especially if you have like messages coming in and um, you see your heartbeat and everything but if you have a beautiful watch that you wear as a piece of jewelry of course you can wear it during your photo session but otherwise pay attention to what you're wearing mans empty your pockets no phones no wallets in your pockets um, you might want to bring some mosquito uh, oil like some lemon uh, essential oil mix it with uh, some argan oil and then roll it onto your skin because of mosquitoes also sunscreen uh, of course it's always important to wear sunscreen I'm wearing like a BB cream which has like an SPF 30 but uh, yeah if you put a lot of sunscreen on your kits it might show on the photos as well like they might be really oily or have like a white um, tone to their skin or it might get really greasy in their hair if you're wearing no shoes make sure you don't wear really tight socks beforehand so you don't have like the socks line on your feet i'm gonna walk towards the car right now uh pay attention to that as well i forgot the uh, dried floral crown is still in the car we didn't use it that's okay so yeah i can't wait to see the photos and uh, of course they're going to wear the clothes more often i think they're really cute so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you liked it Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, check out the boots. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.